Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 4, Episode 22, Thoughts. This episode is called World's End. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode, but not for the MCU that came out after this episode first premiered. Let's dive right in. <laughs> yeah, Phil explains, um, we'll need another bottle to deal with why the bottle is empty. And... Yeah, Fitz, you know, says, I tortured 24 people to get their powers for Ophelia. And, yeah, he says, you know, it's, I've, uh, yeah, I've killed all these people. Um, you know, my idea is kill people. And then Gemma's like, we need an idea for how to kill Ada. That's... Yeah, um, that's the sunny side up, optimistic silver lining way of seeing things. Thank you, Gemma. And yeah, Ghost Rider comes for the Dark Hold. Brief but very cool fight between him and Ophelia. And yeah, um, Talbot explains, you know, it's now clear that Shield hasn't been telling the truth regarding Jeffrey and, you know, whether or not he was an inhuman. And, you know, Coulson is like, that was your lie. We just told it for you. And he's like, nevertheless. And... <laughs> What's new? <laughs> eh, you know. Tried to go for the dark hole. Discovered a robot. You know, not much. And let's see. And why do you still have that? And then we have the yeah, hope meets yo yo, and you know as usual you know get they they get along because you know hope is is this adorable little girl who gets along with people who are nice. And. And it's, it's, of course, it's especially strong because Yo-Yo already knew that there was a hope in the real world, and Mac lost hope. And, yeah, the, they realized that Anton, and I, I gotta say, I did not catch the, uh, Sergei, according to the, the IMDb, yeah, Anton and Sergei are at this this you know meeting and you know they're all like you know Shield is you know lying they're behind all this and humans are dangerous we should all read the Dark Hold I am burning my own house down with me inside who's with me but you know yeah for if you don't know enough about the Dark Hold you don't know that that's a terrible idea. And then we have the, uh, what did I write? Oh, right, right. Um, yeah, Anton looks good in a suit. Got kind of a John Wick thing going. I am going off just like trailers and such. Haven't actually watched any of those movies yet. I would like to. And, <laughs> yeah, I quite like Talbot. He's got some great sayings. This sounds like a load of L. Ron horse crap. And... <laughs> then a character actually says KYS. And, yeah, you know, Coulson is quicker on the draw than, you know, those guys with, with MP on the, on the close... Member of Parliament? Milton Perlman. Real proud of his name. Credits are riff tracks. And yeah, um, Ghost Rider fights very, very cool. And yeah, this may be a drill, but that drill just took an eye out. Eyeball on the on the drill bit. It's very, very cool. Very gnarly. You can't stop really, you're gonna say. The moment you say, see, that's what I said. That's what happens. And, yeah, Ophelia is using the same um, tactics in the real world as she did in the framework. 
What? No. And yeah, you know, Burroughs is like, oh, I, I wish I could just get a couple of bars. Someone's thirsty. And, you know, um, yeah, Yo-Yo says about Mac, I'm going to change him. The stench is getting unbearable. And, yeah, this is the end of the world, yeah. And, yeah, the, the bridge just cuts off, and you can just see, like, very, very silent hill. And... I like Colson saying, you know, Robot May was much more supportive, which, you know, there is some truth to that. LMMD was really on board. <laughs> I guess where you were was probably worse. And yes, the moment that Robbie said, you know, when when I say he drives, I says I mean that we, you know fighting and killing, that's basically what we do. For a second I was like, did he go to Hell or Valhalla? But I guess he means when Ghost Rider is driving and they're still on Earth. And... Let's see, then we have the... Yeah, we'll talk about forgiveness and... Um, yeah. Poor Hope hears the thing about, you know, she doesn't exist in the real world. Yeah, that's... And, and you know, she she goes to Alfonso and is like, she told me that I'm dead, she told me that I doesn't... Or, yes, yeah, something dead. She told me I, do, I don't really exist. And, you know, Mac is like, okay, you are off the babysitter list. And... The, um, yeah, you know, Ophelia wants to, to hurt Fitz, and he, you know, he tries to talk her down, and I, I do really appreciate that, he, you know, she does get a chance, you know, he's like, I, I understand that you're really upset, and she's like, you've never seen me very upset, and, you know, he's like, there's, you know, yeah, sad songs, that's one way to you know, maybe cope with the pain you're feeling, maybe annoy the crap out of people who don't want to listen to sad songs right now. But yeah, she does stab Gemma and, you know, like twists the, the, the just, yeah. I don't love that it turns out that that was just an LMD, uh, LJMD, but LJSMD, whatever. It's, yeah, um, it was clever. It was a clever plan. I wouldn't have hated if they didn't make us upset for someone that is then like, oh, it's just a robot. I guess I guess it's signifying that they've stopped thinking of the robots as, as individuals where, you know, I mean, LMMD was very much an individual. And then we have the... Um, yeah, so clever that Coulson was Ghost Rider briefly, because that is the thing, like, you know, they talk about, you know, oh, it's going to cost something, but, yeah, like, Ghost Rider is not, you know, he, it is, is okay with changing hosts, if, you know, you, you, so, yeah very nicely, because at the end of the it's a very goal-oriented individual, you know, as long as it's gonna get to, yeah, what's the word, um, yeah, get what it's going for, and then we get a brief sequence that really reminded me of, like, the Thor 2 climax with, like, portals opening and people teleporting everywhere, that was fun. And, yeah, um, I don't think Ophelia's coming back from that one. Burning in, in agony, she discovered a new feeling, a new sensation. And, um, 
let's see, then we have the, um, yeah, um, what did I write? Um, right, right, the, the thing with, yeah, uh, really heartbreaking scene when, you know, hope disappears right as, uh, Alfonso is is holding her and uh, yeah just really really heart these these were two really heartbreaking episodes and then you know they they got to drag it out cuz I'm sitting there thinking I mean you know Mac has had a, a long run the you know the show is not crazy about killing off you know some of, some of the longer running characters have stuck around for after it necessarily completely made sense, like the character will die on screen and still be able to come back, but you know, I'm I'm thinking, I guess this is no, you know no more Mac, and then he wakes up as like, oh thank God, this just I I would really miss him. I'm really gonna miss him when either he leaves the show or the show is over. But yeah, you know, it is this thing of you know, cause cause Yo Yo wakes up before that. And it is this thing of, you know, yeah, she's accepted. She can't make him go through the the uh, exit. And, yeah, you know, he decides to go through after she's left. And then we have the... Um, yeah, the, you know, you, you know what cost... You know, what what Ghost Rider wants for this? You know, I I'm not telling the others yet. You know, I will when it's time. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell them either. So I have a guess, but I don't want to. You know, in case it turns out to be true, I don't think I want to say it before it's revealed. But yeah, you know, Colson self-sacrificing does you know sacrificing something you know, is, that is very in character, and, yeah, you know, now we're, now, you know, after this episode first aired, people were theorizing, and, yeah, really appreciate, you know, Mac says, you know, those years as a father will always be part of me, but, you know, it also showed, you know, it was something about building a life with her, very sweet, and then Robbie, ever the show off, is like, no, no, don't worry about the portal. I can make one myself. You know, just, yeah, <laughs> it was cool. You know, nobody likes a show off unless what you're showing off is dope. And, yeah, you know, Fitz says he's not leaving. This is my fault. And the others are like, you know, we all did something terrible here, so, yeah. And, yeah, um, Radcliffe goes, you know, he dies as he lived, drinking and, you know, not necessarily, like, not, not quite happy, but, like, you know, <laughs> Yeah, no, seriously, he finally accepted, you know, this is, he's not going to be able to, to fix everything, and I really do appreciate when a character gets to go out, like, this is similar to how Hive also, you know, he's not, like, trying to smash the, the, the thing he's inside, he's just like, well, you know, never seen this before, or something along those lines, you know, this is, this is new for me, it's, it's, yeah, the experience of, of permadeath was new for him, something like that, you know. As fun as, as it can be when a villain character dies, you know, yeah, in a, in a way that's, that's like, cathartic. I do appreciate when they allow them, to, you know, to, to accept what's happening. But, but yeah, you know, this is how the world ends. Not with a bang, but with a... And then he disappears. I have seen a lot of stuff where, where, you know, character characters and stuff will suddenly disappear, you know, this sort of glitch in the matrix kind of thing, as it were, and, yeah, as it is inside the, the framework here. 
I've seen a lot where we'll actually see the the character like either like fade to to being see through is you know yeah fade out of existence. Here it was always off screen. I think that worked well for it. Um, yeah, and let's see. Yeah, um, at first. It seems like, oh, the authorities caught up to, to Coulson and the rest. But then there's this line about, you know, there's only two minutes, what was it, a two-minute window to the portal. And, you know, then the post-credits, yeah. Coulson's in space, and enough sightseeing, time to get to work. So, yeah, really, really cool. Looking forward to, to seeing that in the next season and yeah so some IMDb trivia for this episode this episode includes an epitaph for the late Powers Booth who died in his sleep two days earlier before the ending credits played and he played Gideon Malik oh phew. yeah the title sequence for this episode was changed back to the Age of Shield Ghost Rider title sequence oh phew. yeah when talking with Ghost Rider Daisy refers to him going into a hill mouth is a term from Joss Whedon's Buffy the Vampire Slayer. The Buffy's uh hmm. I don't know if that's a spoiler, so I'm not gonna say, but just yeah, it's from that. Huh. This is the first season finale since season one to not be aired alongside the previous. First season finale to be written by Jeffrey Bell as opposed to Maurice Tensharowen and Jed Whedon. And and yeah, um the, the those lines, the way this is the way the world ends, not with a bang, but with a whimper, is from T.S. Eliot's poem *The Hollow Men*. Based on its title, I'm going to go ahead and assume that it is a follow-up to *Hollow Man*. Makes a lot of sense to me. Oh, right, right. That's the, yeah. The interdimensional portal that Robbie opens with his Hellfire chain at the end uses the same effect as the portals in *Doctor Strange*, also part of the MCU. And I think that is about Yeah, so I am gonna try to find a great quote to go on and yeah, I think I have found the one. So, before I get into that, I am definitely doing Season 5. However, since I'm doing these in order, before I do Season 5 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., so I'm just gonna, I have the list right here, yeah. The very next is all of season one of Legion, then all of season one of The Gifted, then Inhumans, and then Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. season five. So yeah, it will be, let's see, that's um, 20, 29 episodes, so about a month. And that's if I get one per day. Um, yeah, so, but I, I do, I am, you know, I, if you've been following along, you know, I hope that's not gonna feel like forever of a wait. I do hear really great things about Legion. Some people really love The Gifted, and in humans was a show that existed. There are lots of ways to express sadness and pain. There's, there's music and art and smashing heads on the floor. That's the one I like the best so far. 